Hey, look, it's a little creepy looking fella and he wants to play. Oh boy, he brought friends and these things still creep me out. I swear, these things bugged me so much when I first played the game when it came out. I actually had to take a break because like, they creeped the crap out of me. I was like, oh god. Well, as creepy as they are, they're incredibly easy. One hit instantly kills them. And they only do like a quarter heart worth of damage too, so it's not that bad. Where did he go this time? Oh wait, he went this way, didn't he? Yep, you can hear him playing uh, the Lost Woods song, which is awesome, so let's listen to it. Hey, keep playing! There we go, we're done hurting enough of it, so let's kill him. Or at least hurt him. And the chase is on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a magnificent race. As that Skull Kid managed to run away, Link is on his ass. Uh, it's over here, there we go. These things really do not want to leave me alone. There we go. Back off. He's not up here, is he? No, he's not. Yep, he's not. Okay, good. I can never know where he exactly is here. But we can hear him, so we know he's nearby. No crap, don't go sleep mode. Sorry. Monitor being lame. So we know to swim around, and apparently uh, that waterfall acts as an invisible wall when you try to jump through it. Cool, glitch is cool. Now die! Aw, did that hurt? I hope it did. And cue the damn telephone. Wait, wait! There we go, 1 800 number. In other words, I don't care who you are, I'm not answering it. Oh, wait, I know where it went. The place I tried to go initially. Saying initially makes me think of initial D. I wish we still had that here. It was so fun. Spent way too much time there. The kid. I was a teenager too. Just lots of money having those additional in 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 initial D cards and He's up there playing. Oh, I love listening to him play. He sounds so peaceful. But now we must kill him. Because you know, all good things must come to an end. Including the Lost Woods song. And haha, you can't jump up here. You can't touch me, I hope. Yeah, you can't. Haha. Uh -huh. Of course, it just summons more, so let's get him. And he opens another door for us, so let's chase after him. Your ass is mine, little buddy. So let's jump down. You mad? Aw, oh, he's mad. Well, this one's a little bit more annoying because um, you actually have to kill these things because the only time you can actually hit them is when it goes this little whistle thingy, whatever the hell that thing is. Of course, I missed him. Where'd he go? Uh. Okay, there he is. Let's go, bam. Because if you don't, he just ports away, like I already showed you. See, and he summons more. Oh boy, he's summoned five. He's getting tough. Oh, 
I'm just making a move because I can't really hit him from up there. There we go, got him again. The good old Nintendo way, third time's a charm. And he summoned six this time. Oh boy, he's serious. So scared. You're done. Game over, buddy. Hehehe, <laughs> bye. Well, apparently he had fun playing with us and restored the place to its former glory or something of that sort. So let's grab a few hearts and go check it out. Yeah! Whoa, what do we have here? Let's see, broken bridges, everything, oh my god. Hey, a broken chest. If only... Oh, hey, look, a golden bug, too. Well, we'll be sure to get you later. I think it's a slug. Or a snail. So let's check these guys out. Wow. They're pretty fearsome looking, and there's a big high rail door waiting for us as well. Ah, eh, they're not wearing any pants. A little too much junk in the trunk for pants, I think. So let's, um... Howl, apparently. What's going on? Hey, they became active. Uh oh, this better not be a boss battle. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then you can enter the true sacred grove. Okay, um, before I say anything, this puzzle sucks. This puzzle is freaking, freaking, freaking damn lame. By all balls that this puzzle is made of, it sucks. I know this pattern off by heart because of how many times it took me to do this. It is retarded. I can't believe how I know it so well. Okay, well, um, now that I'm kind of mad, let's get started. I want to go left down and right twice I know there's multiple ways of getting it done but this is just the only one I know of let me go up and left and we're back to where we started isn't that fantastic now we want to go uh, up twice left down twice. Left. I'm oh, sorry, right. And then up. And we're done! And that was very easy. Only because of trial and error. Alright, one more time. BALLS! Sorry. It's just repressed memories kind of seeping forth into rage. Blindless rage. We yield passage to the sacred grove. Cool. So let's go! We. Holy crap, it is foggy and there's a... Is that the Master Sword? It is. We'll have to check the stone out.
The sword accepted you as its master. Well, isn't that one badass looking sword? <laughs> this thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zend cast on you. It is definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful! If you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. The thing is too dangerous. It's probably best if we just leave it here, huh? Some unsuspecting guy comes to pull the Master Sword and turns into a wolf. What the hell? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you could transform into a beast any time you wanted. Yes, since Sant was kind enough to give us this, we should be thankful and use it all we can. Aye aye, Midna. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep a low profile so I'll hide in your shadow when you're a human. But I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this, you can warp whenever you want to by switching into wolf form. Hey, but listen, Getsu. I got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. Sure, I'm gonna go kick his butt for turning me into a wolf permanently. I'm gonna take this sword and insert it rectally. Screw leaks, this will be the ultimate cur cure for darkness. Sword up the butt. Alright, well, uh, we have a badass sword now, so we should just kind of soak it in a moment. Oh yeah, this thing's awesome. Just look at it, the sheath and everything's so much better, too. So awesome. So awesome. What sucks is we pretty much got the best sword and shield in the game now. And we're pretty much halfway through the game. So it's kind of like bummer, but it's also awesome. However, I'm going to end the episode off here, guys, because we got the Master Sword. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we will enjoy our Master Sword and do the dreadful side questing that awaits us. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye!